Recently on 10 News, a local dog owner comes home to a horrifying sight. Her two golden retrievers' faces swollen because they were bitten by rattlesnakes. But 10 News reporter Michael Chen looks at why one dog survived and the other one did not. Well, these days, Gracie not quite herself. The marks on her face, a reminder of an encounter that killed her best friend. You no, know, she's lonely and she misses her mom. They used to be out here playing and wrestling all the time, and now she doesn't have anybody to play with. Four-year-old Gracie and her mother, nine-year-old Zadie, were inseparable. The two were together when Darlene Sweetwood returned to her Rancho San Diego home Tuesday night after a short shopping trip. Came out here, and Gracie was standing here, and her face was swollen. And then I called for her mom, and she came around the corner, and her face was swollen. You're in shock first, and you're just kind of working on uh, instinct and what to do, and... You just do it. Sweetwood immediately raised the dogs to the vet and both received antivenin, but Sadie did not survive. Sadie, who had been bitten once before, actually more vulnerable because of that previous bite. They think she got the most of it, and because she had, was nine years old and because she had been bitten once before, her heart just couldn't take it. Sweetwood lives on a canyon but says rattlesnake sightings are rare. Across the county, Animal Services says rattlesnake calls have jumped significantly this year. Sweetwood's message for other dog owners, look into snake aversion training, something she now wishes she had done for Sadie. Michael Chen, 10 News. County officials have received more than 665 rattlesnake calls since January. That's compared to 549 during the very same period last year. <laughs>